Warning that the next Guardian of the Wall's war with Hamas in Gaza is at our doorstep, National Security Minister Itamar Ben-Gvir and Police Commissioner Kobi Shabtai announcing new reforms to bolster the police. This as riots spreading internally across Israel during the 2021 conflict, threatening the peaceful duality between Jewish and Arab Israelis in many cities. Among the two reforms announced, raising officers' salaries from between 20 to 40 percent. Benvir saying that starting patrol officers, detectives, and beginning investigators are only earning an average of 7,000 shekels per month, which is minimum wage. And second, the establishment of a national guard to deal with sudden crises like the 2021 May riots. In an effort to calm tensions, Prime Minister Netanyahu making Jordan his first foreign visit after retaking office. Relations with the Hashemite Kingdom strained after National Security Minister Itamar Ben-Gvir's latest visit to the Temple Mount in Jerusalem, as well as a minor incident in which Jordanian Ambassador Rasan Majali was briefly prevented from entry into the mount. Israel's ambassador to Jordan, Eitan Serkis, was summoned after both incidents. Under a decades-old agreement with Amman, the Temple Mount sits under Jordanian custodianship, and only Muslims are allowed to pray there. Netanyahu reportedly promising, though, that in spite of protests for change, the status quo will be preserved. For his first official trip abroad in 2023, Israeli President Isaac Herzog setting off Tuesday night for two busy days in Brussels. Herzog to meet with top EU and NATO authorities to brief them on Israeli strategic policy. And then Herzog is scheduled to speak on behalf of Israel at the European Parliament, the president delivering the keynote address for International Holocaust Remembrance Day. Meantime, ahead of Holocaust Remembrance Day, a number of shocking reports across Europe and the West. Aside from the number of anti-Semitic attacks remaining disproportionately high in Europe and dramatically increasing in U.S. cities, the World Zionist Organization's annual report showing a disturbing rise in anti-Semitism and Holocaust denial on social media.